Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews and today I have a fellow tech YouTuber here. He's in the person of Innocent K Boatin. Awesome. And Innocent is someone I really admire. He has a lot of subscribers and he's been in this business for quite a while now. Some of us are still new to YouTube, but at least he's been hustling and grinding and you know working his way up the chart. So Today we are here, we just want to know how the experience has been for him, how the journey has been so far and the milestones that he achieved, how long it took to reach those particular milestones. So without wasting any further time, let's get right into the video. Alright sir, so can I call you Sedo? I'm, I'm saying innocent so. Alright <laughs> sir, great stuff. So I'd like to know when did you first decide to do YouTube? Okay, um, deciding to do YouTube came around 2017, that's ending of May 2017. But then I had to wait till first because I wanted the records to be very simple for me. So I decided, I made the decision in May 2017, but then I started in June 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what was your inspiration? How did you end up? creating a YouTube channel? Well, um, how I started YouTube is a very funny story. Um, I completed school in 2015 and I, I'd been at home for two years. So in 2017, my admission came around June, but then before the admission came, I was even preparing for school. So I really needed money. And the work that I was doing wasn't paying that much. And I read a couple of articles saying that YouTube making youtube videos you gain some money out of it so i just decided to start something initially it was about creating lyrics for music mm -hmm. but then almost all of them were getting copyright which in the future i wouldn't be able to monetize it so i was then doing photoshop small small so i decided to take advantage of that and start a photoshop channel okay so your initial goal was to was to create... make money out of awesome. youtube Awesome. awesome. And then the content you decided to create was Photoshop tutorials. Photoshop tutorials. Well, I think you've really stuck to it. Yeah, um, right now I'm doing, I'm offering IT in school, but then I think I'm really into Photoshop right now and graphic design. I'm actually learning a couple of Illustrator and other things, but then I'm still not giving up on tech, you know, I'm, I'm still, but I do Photoshop almost every day of my life. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So you've been on YouTube for the past two years? For the past two years. And how long did it take you to get up to like a hundred subscribers? What was your first major milestone? For me, getting a hundred was my first major milestone. So how about you? How, did, how long did it take you to get to 100 subscribers? Okay, you are, you are talking of my first major milestone. Is it? My, my main or my ultimate goal was starting a YouTube channel back then was to make money. So as at then, YouTube was looking at 10,000 views and, and then you get monetized. Wow. So my ultimate goal was getting 10,000 views to get monetized. But then it took me like three months to make first 100 subscribers. The, the effort was crazy, like I was sleeping belly i was barely sleeping i even got into sort of an argument with my grandma because she was thinking i was not sleeping enough not out of seven days i'll be up from 12 to 5 a.m for five days wow. so i was resting only two days out of the week wow. so it took me like three months to get 100 subscribers wow so within those three months what was the view count like per video if you create a video today how how many views would you get in, let's say, a month? Okay, um, it was very, very slow. But then what was helping me a lot was I got into contact with some other YouTubers on Facebook. I actually joined a lot of groups on Facebook. It's nowadays that I've not really been active on Facebook. But then when I was starting, I was joining about 50 groups on YouTube, um, Facebook. Wow. And then I would make sure that i'll contact almost everybody not to literally go and subscribe to my channel because the view then was so like i was getting thousand or two thousand views per month <laughs> that that's was that was that's yeah. awesome because as of um six months into the game 
uh, I was at around 8,000 views. So I think I was getting roughly 1,500 to 2,000 a month. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. I think that's super impressive for the average Ghanaian tech YouTuber. So now how many subscribers do you have? Oh, we have about sitting uh, 5,000 subscribers. Wow. So Impressive. if you've not subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe. Yes. Subscribe, check sure. him out. Okay, sure. fantastic. So have you had any sort of challenging moments whilst doing this or because you are so focused on the money, like, you know? Yeah, um, the whole thing changed around uh, about five, six months into the game. I got to realize that there is or uh, there are lots more to it than making money on YouTube. Actually, this whole idea of freelancing came in as I started YouTube. And then before even I got monetized on YouTube, I had already started making money from freelance. Like it was helping me small, small. There are lots of struggles throughout this journey, especially when you are at an area where internet is expensive, you don't have the right gadget or you don't have the money to afford the right gadget you have to spend a lot of time on it and then i'm a student also so a lot of struggles all around but then i'm a very positive person and i try as much as possible to get motivated every morning before i step out or even if before i head on to youtube so um giving up hasn't been in my notepad and i'm not sure it's going to be so that, that's how we've come. Yeah. Wow, well done. So how has it been like combining studies, academic work, and then consistently creating content for YouTube? Well, um, it's been very, very, very tough. I can remember in my first semester, I, I, had, a, I had an exam at 8 a.m. And then I wanted to put up this video <laughs> before I go write the exam. So sometimes, I think it's, it all comes back to time management. Um, when it's time for lectures, I go for lectures. When it's time for personal studies, I do read. I, I don't normally read out of class. So when it's time for lectures, I make sure I don't miss it. Okay. So I think it's a matter of time management. It's not easy though. Sometimes you have to do a lot of sacrifice for it. I had to sacrifice a paper for you too. Wow. Uh, not say I feel the paper, but I didn't get what I was expecting. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you said you set out on this journey because of money. So have you made any money at all? Yeah, like I was saying, along the way, currently it's not all about money. Now it's about providing value and I'm sure the money itself will come later on. But then I, I stated earlier that I've made some money from freelancing which has supported no, I'm me. talking about Out of YouTube itself. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you I had my first paycheck? paycheck last month, that's June 20, after 19, two after years. two years wow. on YouTube. With all your almost 5K subscribers, you got your exactly. first paycheck first last paycheck. month. But that one, um, I'd already passed the threshold. That is $100, like I passed it earlier on. But then the PIN, the YouTube monetization stuff, the pin wasn't coming, so I had to wait a couple of months. So okay. that's it. So how much was it? Can you share? See, that one I won't share. <laughs> share, I won't share. We will skip. We will keep that for the next video. Yeah, but it was. It wasn't that bad. At least it helped me settle some things. Yeah, it was great. I, I was very. The email came around for like four, three, four a.m. and then I didn't sleep again. I just had to, yeah, I just had to stay wake up, uh, like I woke and then I waited till morning by 8 a.m. I think I was part of the one who, who sweat there. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> I was super excited. I, excited. I was I was waiting for the man. Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. So looking back, what are some of the things you've learned that you wish you knew before you started this journey? Honestly, I would encourage each and every one of you starting up or who is deciding to start up that value providing value should be the ultimate goal the money aspect is a whole topic on its, its own and then providing i wish i had started this whole thing 
out of um, providing value. Because when I got to realize that a lot of things has been so easy for me, it got to a point that I decided that making a video is just for a couple of people, just maybe one person. If that person gets the value out of that video, it is enough. Instead of like confusing yourself, you make videos and the views are not coming. Once you put in the effort and then you put in the value, definitely if the person comes, you will come back again. Because it is very important if the person is to come back again, rather than you just the person watching once and you making your money, okay. and the person will never come back again. So if I'm to start again right now, I'll concentrate much more on providing value than money. Much or any other thing. On providing value, value than money. And also, as, as you keep on creating, you keep on learning. As you keep on learning, a lot of things will be changing. Once you make a lot of videos, the videos will be working for you. I earlier on said that I was making about 1,500 to 2,000 views in a month. But these days, I'm making close to like 25,000 to 50,000 wow. views a month. So as you create the videos, the views themselves will come. Don't worry, okay? That's awesome. So in the Ghana tech community, who are those? <coughs> yeah, uh, my boss right here inspires me a lot, you know, and Soji Gray, talking of um, people like Ishmael Lamte, and a couple of other people in there. I go see it. They are all producing some awesome content that I, I look up to. I learn a lot from them. Their video quality, their lighting, almost everything. And a couple of people from the tech, and also the vloggers and Wadamaya. Oh, Wadamaya. A couple of YouTubers are, that I look up to. They are doing such a great job. And I, I always enjoy learning from them. Each and every single video that they post, I make sure that once I watch it, I learn something new from it. All right, it's been great having you Thanks on for having my channel me. today. And yes. I believe viewers who are watching have really learned a lot so. and are also inspired like the way I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. So I'll link his you know, YouTube channel in the description. Very below. necessary. Make sure to check it out and subscribe to his content as well. He makes really great content. And okay. if you are new to the channel, I'll just, you know, encourage you to subscribe, subscribe to this very channel as well. So you don't miss the next episode. We have lots of good, inspiring tech content for you. Okay, so if you are a YouTuber, you can also share your tips for YouTube sure. growth with us. And if you are a non-YouTuber, um, I believe Innocent will be hiding in the comment section interacting sure. with you. So any sure. questions that you may still have for him, you can always drop the questions in the comment section and then we would interact with you. So thank you so much for watching and as you know, thanks for bread. And bye.